All right, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready to experience keep gaming? Can't hold on much longer. I will never let it go. Select your character. Oh yeah, we don't know what he looks like. There it is, the plane that Biggs stole and apparently beat the piss out of upon landing. And Angel Island comes tumbling down again. Master plan after I stomp your ass twice with Sonic and Tails after Knuckles beat the piss out of Chaos. I already foiled your master plan. The Master Emerald is where it belongs. The new porcupine on the block with the buff chest Angel out the Island wilderness with the ruggedness. Point. Knock knock, it's Knuckles, the blow thrower, independent blower, the magical emerald holder. Gave you the cold shoulder, his spikes go through boulders. That I brought back with me. Yeah, I forgot he just took those. To I mean, I knew, but like, it's easy to overlook. I'll take them to Sonic for his advice. He just drops Eggman's corpse Eggman. off here. has one Chaos Emerald, but for some reason... Actually, he has none right now. He's gone rogue. He's just really good at stealthily hitting people right now. Yes, Eggman, learn his lesson. Yes. Yep. And maybe I'll take another vacation somewhere. <laughs> Oh, it's very much the coolest fight in the game. Never mind that. Get up and follow me. <laughs> I forgot about the tail slide. <laughs> Just shoom glides right in. Moving like Michael Jackson. I don't know if it's the easiest fight in the game. Um, Zero's pretty damn easy. Um, a lot of the gamma fights are pretty easy. Yay, we can go fast again. Gotta go fast. Can I take the train? Like, I just kind of want to take the train. It's probably not an option, but, like, I want to take the train one more time. Y'all know how I feel about the train. Oh, wait. Yeah, we can take the train. One more ride on the train. Yeah. One more ride on the train. It was worth it. Enter any of I guess I can if I wanted to. I never really noticed that. Two dead bodies. An Eggman and an Echidna. Sonic. Uh, sorry. Knuckles. An Eggman. What happened here? He stole my Chaos Emeralds. And Chaos is still alive. What? 
He's not gonna get away with this. Hey, Eggman, wait up. Sonic. Chaos is a fearsome beast. If he gets that last Chaos Emerald, we're done for. No need to explain. We'll get on it. Tails? Right! What? Oh, jeez! One more trip down memory lane here. This place. It looks familiar. It's not a dream after all. Time travel. Now we get to see the full scope of what happened here. No way! Did you hear what I said? I won't obey! We need those seven emeralds to give us total power. It's power for the people. And they are your people too, you know. We must get that emerald. Greed is our enemy. Once it starts, you will always want more. I love the story in this game, I really do. Again, that's that's the one thing I think Sonic Adventure 2 does better than this game. But like, this story is still really, really good, and it's executed better, in my opinion. Just because I like the six different viewpoints as opposed to just hero and dark story. Just my humble opinion. Dun dun dun. Oh, it's a monster! No! That's what you get. Imagine, like, remaster. Like, it's kind of crazy that I guess. Which I guess the Sonic Adventure series is a touchy subject. These games are so beloved, you need to make sure you do them absolutely right if you're going to remaster them. Just imagine this game remastered with, like, proper like cutscenes where we were able to like see like exactly what happened in that scene and stuff like that like i could see why they just choose to remaster games like colors and generations and other stuff and a rumor of sonic heroes at some point hey are you all right uh, i think so everyone else isn't they're dead Interesting. This is something I'm not aware of. The seven emeralds are the servers. Chaos is power. English by heart. The controllers are... That's something I'm going to research myself now. I, I want to know the full story behind this. If there's actually, like, a, a reason like that. Fascinating. The seven emeralds can change our thoughts into power. That right there. This that power. Those three lines right there. The, um, the official Sonic the Hedgehog, um, uh, tweeted account, Twitter account tweeted those out today, and it was awesome. And I'm just like, damn, I'm gonna be experiencing that later. Ken Penders, interesting. Good thing you're okay. Good thing you're okay. Yeah, my friend's staring off into space on response, so I'm just gonna leave. It should still be on board the tornado, too! Yeah, th seeing them tweet that out today, a Sonic Adventure 1 reference... I'm just like, damn, I'm gonna be playing that later. That's awesome. It's like they know me. And I always say it. I love the adventure fields. Like, is there much to do here? No. It's just pointless running around, but I love it. It's very much my pace, my speed. I enjoy that. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Ooh, jumped right over it.
I just like stuff. It's like that. It's like it's like I'm breaking the action. Just a vibe. Like ten year old me would just love spinning in circles in those areas. Uh oh. No! He's got the last emerald! Now what do we do? One of the rawest scenes in video game history right here. Honestly, somehow. Like, you cannot convince me that nobody fucking died during this. Like, look at how spontaneous all... Like, there's so many people on the streets right now. There's people in cars. Like, you're telling me those people... Like, people in the buildings there. Like, really? There were people in those buildings. You're telling me nobody died right there? Or right there? There had to have been, like, at least a few hundred deaths. Bare minimum. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Even if they somehow got away, like, the spontaneousness of the water, like, exploding through windows like that. Like, you can't avoid that. It's just gonna shoot you right out the window and you're dead. That is so raw. That is such an awesome shot. They did not need to go that hard, but they did. And now he just kind of looks like meh, compared to what he looked like in that scene. If I wasn't just dreaming, that monster is a real menace. I'm not sure about that, Sonic. Eggman. I'm not sure. He was just protecting the chow. Looks like he's after chaos too. I haven't watched Godzilla in a while. It's another movie I'll have to add to the list. Yeah, let's see how this goes for you, Eggman. Yep, there he goes. Bye-bye now. There she is. My heart has always been with the Master Emerald, along with Chaos's. Now he's filled with anger and sadness. And if it goes on, he'll eventually destroy the world like he did before. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. He'll just be trapped forever. I'm always worrying about other people. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. There's Big. There's Tails. There's Knuckles. And there's Amy. And you guessed it. The bird that was Gamma. Sonic, you should be able to harness their real power. 
As much as I hate to admit it, I think Tails is right about this. No need to be a dick, Knuckles. Where are those voices coming from? <laughs> Hell yeah. It is supersonic time. It's such a bad time. People run for shelter. What's gonna happen to us? All the steps we take, all the movie we make, all the we get say. I don't know all the lyrics, I know most of them. Talking with you. You and I are the same in the way that we have our own styles that we won't change. There is no way I can lose and hold on much longer. It's a shame you don't get to hear the full song here, because then it changes up. That's what I'm saying, this water's deep. There's probably thousands of people dead. Like, where did they all go that quickly? So many people died. Canonically, multiple people died. And if they didn't die, it's a plot hole. Oh boy. Not ideal. Not ideal. Okay. Well, we're not getting a hit on him here. Nope, definitely not. Jeez. Skill issue. Yikes. I had to make sure I grab some rings. I had a feeling I might struggle with this once or twice. It has been a while. The first part's always just a cakewalk. After that, I can get a little tricky, and we got him. I'm just gonna hug that right side, usually. Probably gonna run out of rings, though, unless I, you know, grab a bunch. See what I can do here. Ah, jeez. There we go, that helps. Nice. Way to maintain, way to maintain. Now we just gotta grab a few and finish them off. We can do this. Do it, just make a beeline. Just don't get hit by anything. Hug that left side. Money. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. God, after this ending, and they tried to convince me that Chaos was back in Sonic Forces as a villain, like Shadow was. Please. The game stinks. Aside from Knuckles being a military general, that's just objectively hilarious. Chaos has changed 
changed again, this time for the better. Yeah! Supersonic must have neutralized it, so it's nice again. That's one word for it. These are the child you were protecting. <laughs> yes! Yes! Thank you so much! None of this is good, Vector. That's why it's called war. What a line. What a line. <laughs> That's my favorite line in the game, just because of how bad it is. Thank you so much. And off they go. Yeah, choke him to death. That, that was the one where it said, it's been generations since I've seen you. I think that was that game, right? Yeah, it had to be. When he said that's a classic Sonic. <laughs> Oh. Maximum cringe. And Big the Cat's just there. And of course, Amy and Gamma. Hell yeah, Tails. The city's fucking destroyed. <laughs> but yeah, all's well that ends well. There's thousands of people dead. And the city is cooked. Technically, Eggman won. He wanted the city destroyed. You just can't build Robotnik land on this. Whoa! Right. Thunder, rain, and lightning. It's always hard to understand what they're saying at this part, but it does not stop me from listening to it on a regular basis. Dark creatures, steel clouds floating you, yeah. People run for shelter. What's gonna happen to us? All the steps we take, all the moves we make. I see the chaos of anyone who are we? You and I are the same in the way that we have our own styles that we won't change. There is no way I can lose. And hold on much longer. I will never let it go. I know it's a one-way track. Tell me now how long this will last. I'm not gonna feel this way, nor will I count on others. No fine, I can feel the burn. Now I see what I've got to do. Oh, curse my voice for being raspy today. That's what I get for staying out late last night. My voice takes 24 hours to recover if I'm ever in a loud environment. Little children crying. Don't know why you would be doing so. Drive me crazy. All your cunning tricks make me sick. You won't have it your own way. Can't hold on much longer. I will never let it go. So, yeah, um, not that I need to review a game that um, I revisited knowing that I've played it 50 plus times in my life um, but I will this this game is still perfect to me minus pigs thing it's just I adore this game everything about it the logic I always use is is it perfect no absolutely not but if you criticize this game and say oh it's not good because it doesn't age well you got to say the same thing about games like you know like Mario 64 and stuff 
and which you don't hear that stuff about Mario 64. Like, this game, in my opinion, is it better? No, I think Mario 64 is a little bit better. But this game was much more ambitious. This game... Different play style, different gameplay, obviously. But... They were just like, okay, let's get into 3D and do voice acting and do a great story along with it. And I will always appreciate that. We can't have the uh, more modern games we have today without games like this that took that first step. I know it's a one way track. Long this will last. Close my eyes and feel the burn. Now I see what I gotta do. Open your heart, dude. So that'll always be my thoughts on this game. Timeless masterpiece? Not necessarily, but masterpiece for its time. And does it age well? Yes, very much so. And the music, you could argue this is, front to back, this might be the best music in the entire Sonic series right here. Like, Adventure 2 has bangers, but there's some misses. Heroes has bangers, but there's misses. Shadow has bangers, but there's misses. I can't think of a miss in here. I really can't. Another one that I believe is about four and a half minutes, just because the end credits are four and a half minutes. Let me check. Let me check myself on that. That is just objectively hilarious. Just like, all right, they just went to all of these different. Well, I mean, of course, you know. Actually, no, no. This one, there was a lot of different people involved in this one. In and look at how happy they are. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Because Crush 40 was one, uh, I want to say Ted, uh, what's his name? Ted something. Ted Poli, that's it. There's a lot of different artists here. There it is. Yeah, this one's a little over four and a half. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that right there was the masterpiece known as Sonic Adventure 1. Again, I don't have anything bad to say about this game. It holds a very special place in my heart. Except for the big sections, they can fuck right off. Everything else, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Again, and we might as well end it where we started off here. Because, like, this right here... I... I would have to, like, really think about it, but I cannot think of a video game intro that goes much harder than this right here. Just the way the scenes are cut, you know, seeing Chaos here and Sonic running through the forest as it, like, flashes back and forth between him and other scenes. Like, this goes hard. Like, look at that. That goes so hard. Rest in peace. That shot of Knuckles I love, too. I'm just not realizing, this is, I want to say this is technically my first, or no, this is my second revisit. I did do Super Paper Mario as well. So I'm glad I was finally able to get an official revisit in. Select a character. There it is. Because I haven't done as many as I would want to yet. Mostly because I can't stream from original hardware, but that's, again, I'm not going to rant on that again. We will get there. Until then, we'll keep enjoying our first plays. We have some, in about five, six weeks, we have three new games coming out. As for the rest of this week and next, um, Saturday, as always, around the usual time, I might start around 12.30 this week, if not the usual one o'clock time, Shy Guy Saturday. Don't know if it'll be a full rando, maybe a five-star blitz, not sure yet, but Shy Guy Saturday, Paper Mario. Um, then Sunday, 
Again, Sunday's always a wild card for me. I try to tweet it out in advance, that way just so people get a rough idea, but Sunday is always a wild card for me. We will be starting Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Then Tuesday we're going to play more of that, and then Thursday we are going to finish it. Then Saturday we once again have Try Guy Saturday, and the Mario & Luigi series starts. And then by the time I'm done with that, we should have Echoes of Wisdom out. So, a lot of exciting things coming up, and I appreciate y'all for joining me on these journeys. Especially for games I love like this. It's always nice to hear other people's thoughts on these games as well. Praises, criticisms, how much they played it, how much they didn't play it. It's always cool to talk about this stuff, I love it. But, anyway. On like Tuesday, I have managed to leave myself enough time to get about seven hours of sleep. I did good. Shout out to uh, Biggs Fishing, I guess, for not taking as long as I thought it would. <laughs> but anyway, my friends, thank you again. Appreciate it as always. And I will see y'all on the Lord's Day. Shy Guy Saturday. Till then, my friends, peace out.